Nail clipping is one of the many things that dog owners have had to have a go at for the first time during the first or second lockdown. Was it your case? Were you both, you and your dog, a little bit scared? No need for that, trust me. Hi, I'm Yitka. I'm the founder of Vita Canis and happy dog mom to five mischievous terriers, including my Lakeland Adele. Here as Vita Canis, we help you to naturally and organically improve the health and happiness of your dog. So please subscribe to my channel to get more useful tips and tricks. Unlike our dog's ancestors, whose claws were worn down during running and hunting and keeping busy, most of our dogs don't move that much. And even when they do, it's on much softer surfaces such as um, indoor carpets or garden lawns. And sadly, these don't have the same effect. You might also think then because you often walk your dog in the fields and meadows and woods, or you know like me right now um, the nails would be fine but uh, there is no chance they will wear down and stay short unfortunately the fear of cutting the quick which is the middle section of the nail where the nerve and blood vessels are puts a lot of dog owners off cutting their dog's nails is it your case well it's fully understandable However, sometimes we have to do things we are not very comfortable with. And maybe you just need to change your mindset and think about it differently. Think about it like you're actually helping your dog. How? Long nails put pressure on the nail bed, which causes your dog discomfort and even pain. I would imagine it feels like wearing a very tight shoes all the time. And over the time, the pressure on the joints can cause changes in them and make the foot look flat. With all this in mind, you can see that by cutting your dog's nails, you are not only protecting your wooden floor and furniture, but you're also maintaining your dog's healthy feet. So how do you know your dog's nails need cutting? First of all, uh, you look at your dog's foot while he's standing on a flat surface. And if the nails are touching the floor, they need clipping. Another good indicator is when your dog is moving around your house on wooden floor or laminated or tiled floor, and you just hear the click clack click clack sound. So now we know why we need to do it. And before I share with you what you need to get, I would like to thank you for watching so far. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So what do you need to get before you start? Nail clippers, obviously. <laughs> there are two basic styles, uh, namely scissors and guillotine. And it's all about personal preference. Personally, I prefer the scissor type. So, and also some of them um, even have like a safety stop that limits the amount of nail trim. Combing floral spray to keep your dog and yourself calm during the process. If you happen to cut the nail a little bit too short and it's bleeding, in that case, you spray a little bit of soothing antiseptic spray on a cotton wool and apply on the bleeding nail. It will stop really quickly. And here is nail clipping step by step. Hold the dog's toe between your thumb and finger gently but firmly. If you can see the quick, place the nail clipper at the point where the pink stops. If you can't see the quick, take the hook of the nail first. Check the end of the nail. If you see the black circle in the middle of the nail bed, it's a blood vessel, but not the part that bleeds. Cut off another small section. Keep cutting until the darker circle covers most of the nail. When you see a small white dot in the middle, it's as far as you can cut without cutting into the quick. It's good practice to start clipping your puppy's nails at an early age. <laughs> 
So what we have here, we have the small nail clippers, calming floral spray to keep your puppy and yourself nice and calm, a dancing type of nail clippers, and of course the treats. So when your puppy is small like this, you can use ordinary household nail clippers and all you do is just take the very end off. Good girl. Shh. Like this. If your puppy is very fidgety or nervous or you are nervous, use the calming spray to spray the area. Good girl. When the puppy is a bit calmer, we can do the second nail. Make sure you hold the puppy and the nail gently but firmly. Good girl. Good girl. See, this nail is quite short, so it doesn't need much taking off. Good girl. And we got one more here. That's it. You yes, clever girl. Who is this clever girl? One more paw. Good girl. So we're just taking the very tip off. Good girl. Shh. Good girl. One. Two, three, four. That's a clever girl. And a little treat. Good girl. No, she's not interested. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and you are feeling more prepared and more confident to trim your dog's nails. Thanks for watching and remember, stay calm and keep aromatherapy.